Hey guys, for today's video, I wanna show you some important items you need when you pick up your puppy for the first time. Hi, Miles. So the first thing you want is a good kennel or a crate that you can keep your puppy safe. Uh, Miles here is about uh, five months old now. So you can see he's a big dog. He's about 60 pounds now, but when we first got him, he was about what? I don't know nine pounds don't quote me on that don't know if, it, if it's accurate but he was much smaller um but what we did is just get a large size and the kennel actually has a partition that came with it so before i get into the partition the one thing i want to talk about is the double lock feature here on the kennel so if for some reason um, your puppy, you know, unlocks this as they get older, they get club, uh, a little more clever. So we have a double lock here, just secures it a little better and he can easily go out and in. Go ahead, Miles. You can see he waits for me, part of his training before he just jumps out. Um, but what I was saying is this actually comes with a little partition here. So good potty training, even if you go with the bigger kennel, use the partition while the puppy's smaller, they tend to urinate in any extra space that they have available. So the closer you keep it into the puppy's size, trust me, they don't need a lot of room. Um, we literally had it about like, probably up to here when he was a puppy. Um, he couldn't reach or access any of that back area until he got older or bigger. If you have open space, they tend to urinate or poop in that area. So this really confines them and it enables them to hold um, their urination longer until they have to go out. The other thing I really love about this kennel is this tray feature right here. I didn't know this when I first got it four years ago um, when we first had a puppy. You can unlatch right here and it allows you to put, um, pull the tray open. So I'm gonna show you how to do that kind of hard with one finger, but basically pull that out, snap it down here. Yep. Um, Mona, can you get out? Out. Stay out, both of you. And basically you can pull this out and pull it back in. It goes out all the way. You can go rinse it off outside if something happens and then go back and latch it up. It locks and make sure you lock it or um, the dogs do kick their feet and then it starts sliding out underneath them. So that is number one, a safe space for your dog. The next thing you need is a feeding bowl. And what I learned is the store sell this, right? Just the steel part. And I used to buy this steel part, but what ended up happening is your puppy's paws just whack it and it flips over all your food and all your water. Everything was in here. So you need to buy this base here. Something like this bowl is fine. It touches all the way at the bottom. It doesn't give them the ability to flip. It has some weight on it. This one, is, I mean, it's light. I haven't had a problem with flipping. So you definitely need, you know, food bowls. Um, you also need a container for your food. Uh, or, you know, you can take it straight out of the bag, I guess. But this is the spoon we use. We have two of these airtight containers. Keeps the food fresh. Um, make sure it has a lid. Make sure it closes. And this water dispenser has been a game changer, especially after we got our second dog. We used to just use a second bowl like this. But um, I refill this once a day. It's good for the both of them. And they love it. We also got these mats. Uh, definitely necessary. Uh, dogs, you know, they drip a lot of water after they drink. Um, so I actually make them wait here for a little bit before they can move and put more water all over the house. This is good, something a little larger for food. Um, and we'll do a tutorial on how to feed your dog the first time or your puppy. Uh, these are essentials. So you just saw the essentials. I think Mona's ready for feeding. So time for us to get out of here. Ain't that right, Mona? Bye.